Well, in the last few days, YouTube have gone ahead and implemented their links policy around shorts and other things, including taking links off channel banners. So it used to look like this, and now it looks something like this. But they're replacing it with something else. I'm gonna show you what that is and how you can put your links into your channel so that people can find them and they're gonna look like this on desktop and this on your phone. Let's dive in. I'm gonna use my channel as an example, as you can see right here. First of all, there's no links here anymore. They would appear here, right here. But there's one thing that you might notice here is now that there's a new link here. Right now it's my website, DougHewsonYT.com and six more links. And if I click on the and six more links, it's gonna drop me to the about page. And right at the bottom, you can see all the links I currently have set up here, my website, my old click to subscribe, which used to be the first one on my banner. I'll tell you why that's no longer the first one on my page in just a second. And I've got other things like my Twitter. Yes, I've still got Twitter. Um, Facebook, Discords, my Amazon influencer page, what, you know, the, the things that you commonly might link to on your channel. Now, YouTube are allowing you now to have up to 14. I've got about uh, seven there right now, so I've, I can double that. Now, how do you change these and update these? I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second, but before we do, you can see at the top here that the link to my website is at the actual URL, dougusonyt.com, without the, all the HTTPs and all that. Now, if you were to make that your click to subscribe link, it wouldn't say click to subscribe, it would actually say this URL, youtube.com slash channel slash and a bunch of letters following and, and then question mark sub confirmation equals one. So that long winded URL doesn't look the best in this position here. So then I went for a neat, perfect URL, which would be my website. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, if you're gonna uh, make changes to this, then you wanna go to customize channel, which is gonna kick you to YouTube Studio. And by default, you'll be in the customization section, which of course the layout is your homepage. We're not gonna use that. Branding of course is for your profile picture and channel banner, but we're gonna go to basic info. Now basic info is everything about your channel like your channel name, your handle, that description that appears on your about page, all the important stuff. And then your channel URL, the custom URL. And then we get to a section called links. Share external links with your viewers. They'll be visible on your channel profile and about page. So what you can do is add a link at the bottom here like this by clicking the add link, it adds an extra section. You can give it a name so that when it appears on the about page at the bottom, it, it explains what that link goes to and then the actual URL that you wanna direct people to. So I could say direct them to my Instagram. Yes, I don't have my Instagram on here, but if I wanted to, and then I would have to put my Instagram in here. And that's pretty much ready to go. And then when I'm done, of course, I click publish that updates the information. I can change the location or the order of these by grabbing these lines and moving them up, moving them down. I'm going to maybe prioritize my my Discord. So, so you can just put it in any order you wish. Obviously, that's gonna affect the layout on the, on the About page. So what we're gonna do is click Publish to lock those changes in. And it's thinking about it, a little pulsing line, changes published, go to channel. And that's gonna show us the update. You can see now it says I've got seven more links because I've added one. And if I go to the bottom now, you can see I have website, Discord, Amazon Influencer, my subscribe link, my buy me a coffee, my Twitter, my Facebook, and the Instagram that I just added. So you can see that is what I've put in. Now, the very first one in the list is gonna be what is shown here. So the most important one for you that you want people to click on is the one you wanna put in here. So you can, if you're being strategic, change that depending on what is happening on your channel right now, what is your focus and what you want to direct people to. Uh, so for me, for right now, I'm just letting people go to my website, but you can have them going to a particular platform or you buy me a coffee or your Amazon influencer page. 
uh, maybe some sort of affiliate link that you're promoting across your channel, uh, you can use this to prioritize that. And don't forget that when you make these changes on desktop, you can also have them appear on your phone. Okay, when you're on your phone on your channel, you can go ahead and go to your channel and you can see at the top there, you're gonna have the, the same sort of spiel that you have on the top of your banner, on top of your page, the profile area, where you've got the, the first portion of your about page. And you can see also here that I've got my links there, dougismyt.com and seven more links. If I click on that seven more links, you can see instantly all the links pop up here and, and they will appear on your phone really neatly here. And they will also include the favicons from the site. You can see I'm using a link director. I, I happen to use Rebrandly. So I've got the Rebrandly link on the Discord and the Amazon, unfortunately. I could put the direct link there if I wanted the favicons to match up. You can see because the BMAX are direct, uh, the Buy Me A Coffee is a direct link. It's got the Buy Me A Coffee favicon. And so if you want the favicons to show up, then you would probably use the direct link to the original site. Whereas here I'm using my THYT dot link um, link shortener, but you'll, you'll get them all appear in this list. And when you have more, or if you're using the full 14, then you can scroll up and down to access those on mobile. So that's what it's gonna look like on mobile. Now currently, can you change these on mobile? This is a really good question. There are no customization settings for the YouTube Studio app right now. Right now, you have to do this on desktop, but it is reflected in what you do here on your mobile device. The one thing that you might need to remember when you're putting links on your channel in this part of uh, YouTube, as with any links, whether you put them in your description in your long form or something you pin in a comment or anywhere else that you uh, share a link, it needs to abide by community guidelines. In other words, don't link to sites that are questionable or sites that promote things that are against YouTube's terms of service and or their community guidelines. That is the, the, the overarching rule for any type of link on YouTube. Make sure whatever you do that you link to reputable sites that do not break YouTube's terms of service in regards to the community guidelines. So keep that in mind. If you want to know about more about recent YouTube updates, then check this playlist out right here. Well, this is Doug, and I'll catch you later. A big shout out and thank you to my channel members. You know who you are, and I've listed you on screen. And if you want to become a channel member, make sure to click the join button below this video, or click the link in the description.